How's it going? Good, man. Yeah. Can I give you one of these? What is it? Well, there's 60,000 abortions every year in Texas, um, and legal abortions, and um, there's uh, 13,000 kids in foster care waiting to be adopted, but nobody wants them because they're not babies, right? So there's 30,000 churches, over 70,000 pastors. We can make abortion illegal today, easy, quick, and yeah. no problem. If just the pastors stood up, you know? So what we do is we talk about that. And, you know, we're not really here about abortion. We're here about let's follow Christ and do what the Bible says. Yeah. This is just proof that we're not as a state. You know, the number one cause of death is abortion. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. So. You know, we're just. Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Hey, I'm sorry. I had to. But it, there comes a time, like when you look back into the 1800s, yeah. when Christians just couldn't sit in church while slavery was going on. Right. Where Christians said, "Wait a second. If Jesus is King, then what's this?" Right. And we are at one of those times. One image bearer of God in the place of the incarnation is slaughtered every 30 seconds in this nation. Yeah. 60 million since Roe v. Wade. This is not time for like Taco Tuesday. Regular Christianity is normal. This is the time when the messages are like preached from the revivals on the outside where the church is being called to repent on her knees where the spirit is coming it's not just about abortion it's about the idol of humanism being allowed to raise our kids in the secular humanist indoctrination zone it's about all the idols that we're allowing in the culture just because we want a safe place to go and experience something comfortable and call it Christianity there's a lot of people that know God in there there's a lot of people that don't know God in there but let me tell you something the world does not know the glory of our king by this kind of Christianity that's practiced in here. You know, it's very interesting because, you know, I used to go, I used to be really conservative at the church. Sure, uh, sure. But I actually stopped going because I saw it more as a culture. Uh, yeah. You know, Social club like culture. Yeah. People that feel accepted amongst themselves. And outside, when you get yourself out of that and you look from the outside in, so it, it's, it's really oh. a, yeah, Not conservative. Necessary. The right has just as many idols on their side that, that, that the left does. The, you know, the uh, the idols on the conservative side used to be statist idols 70, 80 years ago, yeah. and now conservatives are grabbing onto. If you ask, like actual libertarians, based their liberty on the law of God, yeah. if they support like standing armies and you know uh, uh, the executive power of the state to kidnap people based on suspicion in terms of the police, right. things like that, they would have been like, "Are you kidding me?" Right. And now we defend that. Yeah. You know, as well, not we, but you know, I used to be in that same boat. So I mean, we still have a fellowship. We're we're brothers and sisters in the Lord that fellowship under King Jesus. Yeah. You want to in, in, invite the brother, man? What's your name? Yeah. Hey, Hi, Brian. my name is Joe, man. Yeah, my name's hey, Joe. I'm Todd, man. Yeah, we have the Abolitionist Society of Little Elm, so we're in Little Elm, but we meet uh, Sunday nights at five. We have dinner together, and then we go through the scriptures and just fellowship, pray, and help each other out, you know. And so, is, it, is that information in here as well? No, no, that's not. But um, 